My name is Sergio Morales, and welcome back to our Photo Boys video series. So in this specific video, I'm going to be talking about a case study in Fort Texas of a Photo Boys project, just to get an example of how the Photo Boys process works in action. So before starting this video, I would like to emphasize that we also have a video first introducing Photo Boys and what Photo Boys is. And if you haven't done so already, I, re I recommend watching that video first. So the video, the link to that video specifically is in the description below. So I highly recommend watching that video first and then watching this video. So yeah, now I'm going to be moving forward with the video and going to be discussing the Photo Boys project in Fort Texas. And just to get a little bit of overview, um, Fort Texas is a city in the Rio Grande Valley region. And that specific region is in the southern part of Texas. So Fort Texas is a border town. It borders the city of Reynosa, a city in Mexico. So yeah, the idea of what we wanted to work with in this project is this conception that a lot of times young people's experiences, their knowledge, their expertise, a lot of times is undervalued and is overlooked in a lot of decision making processes and also to a lot of urban planning processes. So in this project, we wanted to challenge that. We wanted to emphasize young people's concerns, priorities, and ideas for their natural and built environments. And we used the photo voice method to do so. So in this specific project, we collaborated with high school students in Fort Texas. And as you can see, like we have four pictures and each picture represents a certain phase of the project. So the first phase is workshops. So in this part of the phase, we hosted workshops to these high school students and we introduce them to the concept of photo voice, what photo voice is. And then at the same time, this project also had an environmental justice lens. So we also introduced the young people to what environmental justice is and also environmental justice in the context of Texas. And then that's when we get to phase number two, where the young people go out to their communities and then they do the research through photographs. And to do so, and to make that easier for them, we gave them prompts. So some prompts are like, where do you feel safe in your community? Where do you feel safe in your community? Where in your community or in your neighborhood do you feel happy? What are some areas of improvement in your community? And then we asked them these questions and then through those questions, they went out to their communities and they, they took pictures answering these questions. So then we get to phase number three. And then that's when everybody, all these high school students, or what we call them, the youth core researchers. The youth core researchers came all together and then they share out loud the pictures that they took, which, one they, which ones they like, why they like them, what it means to them. And then together, everybody wrote narratives and stories about their pictures. So in this part of the process, because it was like collective process, a lot of the students or a lot of the youth core researchers, they they were able to gather a lot of common problems that identify through their photographs. So for example, and here in this picture, it, there's a picture of like um, Jones Box Park specifically, and uh, the problems identify what they like, difficulties, how they can change things. And one specific common problem a lot of the UCO researchers identify in this park is that it's the issue of sidewalks, how the sidewalks infrastructure is not well maintained. And because of that, it makes it very difficult to walk to the park. So because of that, the youth were like, hey, sidewalks are an issue in this specific park. And because of that, we should add more sidewalks and we should improve the sidewalk infrastructure in this park. So yes, that's an example of how a lot of these youth co-researchers identify themes, common themes in these photographs and narratives. And then through these common themes and common problems, also together identifies potential solutions. And then that's when we get to phase number four. In this specific phase, we had a community exhibition at the Farm Memorial Library. And this specific exhibition is showcase the youth core researchers, their pictures, the pictures that they took, and also the narratives that they wrote alongside those pictures. And then to start off the exhibition, we held a ceremony or an opening ceremony of it. And in this specific ceremony, they, you, they showcase like, hey, this is the work we did. And this is our experience with the photo voice project. And one specific theme that these youth co researchers, they highlighted a lot is this idea of youth empowerment. So a lot of them were like, hey, like we are affected a lot by the decisions the city makes. 
but at the same time, we do not feel included in these decision-making processes. And because of that, we would like to be included more in these processes. We would like to be included more in civic opportunities. We want to be more involved with our opportunities, more involved with civic engagement opportunities. And overall, it was a very um, impactful event because they were like, hey, like this is our knowledge, this is our research. And because of that, like we are valuable residents in these communities. And because of that, we have a right to say like, hey, this is wrong. We want to improve this. This is how we should improve it. And overall, this was a very impactful event. So this specific event, there were like parents, there were friends, but not only that, there were also community leaders, community organizers, civic leaders, government leaders and everybody, all of us were in the audience and the young people were the main ones. They were teaching us about these things. So it was very impactful. And now I'm going to be talking about a photo voice narrative example. So this specific narrative in the picture, this is by one of the UCO researchers. So the picture you can see a neighborhood and the main central focus of this picture is a sign. And the sign says, please drive slowly, we love our children. And then this UCO researcher took the picture and then wrote this narrative. So quote, this is not my neighborhood. I had to walk a little further away to take this picture. I say the theme of this picture is that in many communities, there is separation where some areas are giving attention and they prioritize those more than other ones. And those places it is better developed, it is cleaner. In other communities, there are no sidewalks no signage, and this speaks to how much of the higher ups, people who are in control, shouldn't pick, shouldn't pick and choose where to prioritize. A lot of access happens and lead to fatalities. A simple thing like a sign or a speed bump could impact the severity of an accident. Most of these communities that have these signs see less accidents. So there's an example of a photo voice picture and also a narrative. So in this narrative, it was interesting that this specific youth core researcher, they identified problems, but also to connect those problems at a structural level and also noted the issue of disparities. Like, hey, some neighborhoods have these signs, other neighborhoods don't have this type of infrastructure, and we should have like equal access to infrastructure in all neighborhoods. So that way, most of these neighborhoods see less accidents. And because of that, like just reduce inequality. So yeah, what's interesting again about this specific narrative is again, the issue of structural inequality. And now we're going to be talking about some quotes about youth experiences in this project. And in the final part of the project, we held focus groups. And these focus groups, we had just like group discussions about the photo voice process, what the youth co-researchers learn, like their overall experiences, what they liked, what they did not like, what they learn and what they want to take with the things that they learn with to their future and their careers. And in these photo group discussions, or I mean in this focus group discussions, one of the questions that we ask is, what do you learn about yourself throughout the photo voice process? And then that's when one of the UCO researchers said, quote, that we young people can make a change here, that our voice does matter, and that just because we're teenagers and we're not adults and can think like adults, it doesn't mean that our voice doesn't matter. We can actually all come together and change things for the better for our future. And then another person said, quote, I was really stunned actually in this project. It gave me a new perspective on myself and I guess how I've seen my community. I realized that I live very much in a bubble and it was very eye-opening definitely to actually have a reason to go outside and observe things about my community that I never really would have cared about because I kind of felt powerless. I found the project very empowering. And then in the next slide, we also have two more quotes. So in this specific one, this project talk about photography and how the project changed the way they view photography. So they said, quote, I learned how much someone can say through photographs because maybe a lot of people just don't need them like how someone typically does. How much something can affect something simply with a photograph? It can affect someone. And then our final quote is, because I originally was like, okay, we have a problem and this is what it is. So I cannot do anything. But being in this project, it made me realize that as an individual, we also have the power to make change. We then say like, oh, we have this issue too. 
and we mobilize people, we talk to them, and then we get together to talk to see what we can do to change things. So these are just some quotes of our focus group discussions and what a lot of the youth co-researchers learn about themselves in this Portal Boys project. And then I'm going to conclude this video with some reflections questions. So if you're a young person, um, some questions to ask yourself is like, what are your initial reactions to this project? Like just in general, like the overview of this project, uh, the photo voice narrative that I just showcased and also to the youth participants, like their um, quotes, like what are your initial reactions to those? Did you relate to what the students said? And also to what motivates you to make a change in this world? And also how can adults support you? And then on the other side, we also have questions for adults watching this video. So what are your initial reactions? Again, based on everything, just in general, what Photo Voice is, the Photo Voice project in Texas, the Photo Voice narrative, the quotes, like what are your initial reactions? And most importantly, based on the students' reflections, how do you think you can support the young people in your life? So yeah, these are just some re reflection questions to think about as you watch this video. And this concludes our video now. And again, thank you all for watching and make sure to watch our other photo voice videos. And these videos will be linked in the description below. So be sure to check those out and again, have a better idea of what photo voice is. And again, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.